not becoming a freaking doctor. Although, imagine me as a doctor, everyone would be dead. <laughs> because if there was just a bunch of Veronicas deciding to be doctors, we'd be... Actually, I don't want to put myself down like that. If I really wanted to be a doctor, I probably could. Okay, we're just gonna leave it at that. You know, we're putting our- we're building ourselves up, okay? We're not putting ourselves down. But yeah, anyways. It's a bird! It's a plane! Okay, whoops, sorry. JK, it's just me. Welcome back, guys. Don't know what that intro was, but hey, you know? I have been gone for a while, so what is anything anymore on the internet? How are you guys doing? I haven't been here for quite some time. But yeah, I have really missed you guys. I have thought about you guys the entire time. And if you're ever wondering what I'm doing, I constantly post on my story on Instagram. So you can always go there to figure out what Veronica's up to. So yeah, right now I am sitting in my apartment. I got a table finally. Aria and I have been looking for furniture. I'm finally off at school, so I'm gonna be looking finally for bed set because I've been sleeping on a mattress for far too long. Although I do love sleeping just on a mattress. It's probably one of my favorite things. But anyways, today we are going to be eating some sausage, some Ukrainian delicious sausage that I picked up from St. Lawrence Market in Toronto. It is a farmer's market here that we have. I believe they're closed on Mondays. Um, but they are open Sundays, I believe. Just make sure you check. Um, my, like, oven keeps clicking. Anyways, so we're gonna be having this sausage. It's actually been sous vide. What sous vide is, is it's vacuum packed and then it's submerged underneath uh, water and then it's slowly cooked. At, that's what uh, sous vide means. It means under vacuum. Um, learned that in school. You know, I just been in school. Yeah, that's another reason why I, God, I, might even, I haven't been talking to you guys about why I haven't been here. I haven't been here because I took my marks way too seriously. But yeah, anyways, so today we are going to be having this beautiful sausage that I've obviously had before. So here we have it. It's been beautifully dressed. That's what the back looks like. It's fully cooked. So all we really have to do is heat this up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw this in the oven. We're gonna heat it up and then we're gonna take a torch to it just to get some caramelization on the top because I love a nice little crust on top of my meat. So bam, culinary school is really, really showing that I've learned something right now. Anyways, so we also have this massive freaking can o meat. Wow. I got this in the mail, um, shipped from Korea. And just to show you the difference, here is a regular can. Here is this can. Look at the thickness difference. It is literally two of these cans beside each other. Yeah, so it's like, yeah, yeah, it's about right. It's like four cans in one, basically. So here we have that, and at the back, it kind of like shows you, you know, everything that's going on here. Shows you the singles. I actually have both of these singles, the mild and the original. So I got this when I was in Korea as well. But yeah, anyways, I know it's been a while since I was in Korea, but you know, this shit doesn't expire till 2024. So we good, shouty. But yeah, we have some spam here as well. Spam is a luncheon meat which a lot of people don't think, actually when I was in school and I spoke about spam, people thought it was cheap. It's expensive. Like spam at one point in our life was actually very inexpensive, but the price has just, much like many things in our world, it has just skyrocketed. And this bad boy right here, I don't even wanna tell you how much it is, but one of these cans alone in a grocer is like $5, give or take. Sometimes, I think I've seen, uh, yeah, I think these are like five, four dollars. That's a lot for one can of meat. A lot of money. But yeah, so this is already cooked, right? Everything's cooked through already. It's ready to go. We're just gonna heat it up and then we're gonna torch it as well because I'm in a, I don't know why, but I've, I'm in such like a torching mood. I just wanna torch everything. So yeah, and then I figured we could also make a cheese sauce, a Mornay sauce, because your girl is a culinary student, full-time culinary student, um, but I'm actually gonna be taking a term off because I need a break from school. And I initially thought that I was gonna be finished in 
May, but it turns out that I'll be finished in December. So instead of me just jumping right into back into school in September, I'm gonna take a term off and start up in January and then I'll be finished in April. So yeah, I'm gonna be taking a term off. So now, lots to talk about. But yeah, anyways, so that's what we're gonna be doing this. We're gonna make it be making a cheese sauce. And I also have, of course, the fermented cabbage. So we're gonna be eating it with some cabbage because we need some sour acidity, you know. We need, you know, we just need something to kind of offset all of this fat and meat we got going on. So we need something to kind of kick it to the side, give our palate, um, a cleansing and we're gonna go in with this cabbage right here but yeah let's get into it um i have not figured out my camera settings yet i have not figured out my mic settings yet i'm figuring that all this week i promise you but you know when it happens it happens so i'm just gonna leave it at that and i'm excited so yeah let's just get into it let's get so here we have this can of spam i feel like we gotta just like Oh, that did nothing. <laughs> oh my God, I figured it out. Wow. Oh, wow. I'm not an imbecile. <laughs> okay, it's still kind of an imbecile, but yeah. Oh, wow, that's super cool. That's a big block of spam. Okay, I also have this guy. I have some, just some frozen, cheese I have frozen in the fridge, we're gonna actually use this.
Okay guys, wow, here we have everything. Beside me, of course, I have some Coke. I got some gloves. Worst idea torching these things. Don't know why I thought it would be a good idea. Didn't think of it much. I kind of just went for it. And yeah, this don't torch it, bad idea. Bad, bad, bad idea. Because <laughs> I feel like our, our, you know, our guy over here could have looked 10 million times better, but this is what we're dealt with. So let's start with a Coke. So I have the old setup right now. I have my old lens, my old mic, and yeah, we're rocking and we're rolling. I haven't changed anything because I realized I'm blessing my food with oh shit with some Coca Cola. <laughs> Cheers. I have right. What was I saying? So, anyways, I have the old setup. I'm having a friend come over soon to help me with everything because I literally have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, but yeah, here I have the cheese sauce, which will be better than any jar of cheese sauce you ever buy in your life, I promise. It could have been a little bit more orange. Needed more cheddar. We have our cabbage over here, um, our sausage, and our spam. And let's just go in for it. Whoa. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh, it's getting hard. I gotta mix it. Okay, that didn't work. Oh, yum. That's so good. Okay. Here it goes. Oh. I mean, it really could have went without the charring, but you win some, you lose some. You win some, you dim some. What? Are you kidding me? Let's go for the cabbage. We're just gonna rip a big piece off. I'm gonna roll it like a cigar. Like a cabbage roll. I touched too much salt, but it's still really good. Mm. Holy hell. Are you kidding me right now? Honestly though, 
mystery sauce you guys gotta try it's so good Whoa. I can't believe, believe, I can't believe I've been away from you guys for so long. What the frick is wrong with me, eh? Don't know why I was, why, what am I saying? I don't know, I know exactly why I was gone. School. Bitch. Overall, the peppers really bring everything together, creating almost this umami flavor. But I wish it was a tad bit more spicy, to be honest. I think I might leave some of the seeds in next time because I de it. I took all the seeds out. Honestly, it's missing that spicy element to it. I really like my cheese sauces to be a little bit spicy. That's just me. But yeah, going back to school was, it was like, in the beginning, like the first, my first term, my first two semesters, so weird. Like, going back after years of not being in school, it didn't take me by surprise because I knew what I was getting into, but I was so not used to getting in the swing of studying and time management that I completely lost track of not only my time, but the reason why I even started to go to school to begin with. Like, I started taking school so seriously. And I think a part of the reason why I 
took school so much seriously this time around. I've always taken school seriously. I've had my moments. A lot of the time it'd be like the beginning of the year. I would take really seriously and then I would fall short towards the end of the year, right? Because they're kind of sick of it. You're in school for a year. You're like, okay, is this done yet? You kind of stop caring a little bit, you know? Um, um, but at one point I just like stopped caring altogether when I was in high school. In grade 11, I did really, really well. 80s, 90s, great marks overall. Grade 12, shit ties, like worst. I did horrible and I feel like even when I went to college for the first time, I took makeup and aesthetics. I applied myself, but I didn't really apply myself. You know, this is just when makeup really started popping off on Instagram and everyone was becoming a makeup artist. And I loved makeup so much. I was probably one of the only girls in my school that wore makeup, that wore eyelashes. I think I was the only girl in high school during that time that wore eyelashes. No one wore eyelashes. People always ask me how I did my eyelashes. Times have changed since then, obviously, you know? But yeah, anyways, point being is that I've almost becoming one. I just decided that I wasn't as good as I, I, I wanted to be. And I feel like the entire point of being a makeup artist is that you're supposed to be enhancing people's beauty and making them feel even more beautiful than what they already are. And I feel like I wasn't doing that for people. I feel like I wasn't enhancing their natural features. If anything, I was making it fucking worse. <laughs> So it wasn't too bad though, but yeah, anyways, so I ended up quitting, didn't take it seriously. And then, you know, I feel like even in high school, even though I took it seriously, I feel like I, knowing what I know now and knowing how to apply myself now, I feel like this time around in school, I really like, I was, I'm better at reading. I'm better at understanding concepts and theories and a lot better at applying myself. And so once I was in school and I realized that I had these skills, that these skills were better throughout the years by some miracle, I started really taking school seriously and I kept pushing my videos back. I'm gonna, that was a really salty piece. So, The first term, as you guys saw, videos released, I was still pretty balanced, you know? In the beginning, was still balanced. I was still pretty balanced. And then second, I don't know what happened, but that like light, when I realized that I like I was doing well and I could apply myself so, so much better than I ever have been able to before, it was just like second semester, it was drill time. I, I had my break, I was super depressed. I came out of my depression, I was back in class because I saw you guys saw the video. I didn't release because I was like super depressed and I needed a mental health break. I got back from school, I was feeling good. And I just started drilling myself, really trying to apply myself, really aiming for those 90s, really trying to get really, really good marks, being extra early to class. I was really going for it, you know? And as the assignments started coming in and coming in, I completely lost track of time and just kept pushing videos back and back and back and back. A couple of weeks go by. In a couple of weeks, a lot can happen. I mean, we've seen a lot happen in only a couple of days here on YouTube. So. And I just lost myself in school. I lost myself so hard in school, I completely lost myself and didn't even know why I was in school at one point. I was like, wait, why am I in school again? <laughs> I was so consumed by school, I was actually like confused. Mm. 
Well, I'm gonna, um, my face looks sour, but I don't know why I said that. I said fine. But. Oh, shit. <laughs> I just dropped that piece. I started feeling sick actually. So I was like, hyperventilating. I was like, I haven't released a video in two weeks. It's going on the third week. And when I stopped just freaking about about school and doing good and start freaking out about life, that is when I started questioning myself why I was in school and what, what was the reason that brought me to school. And what brought me to school was for you guys. And for me, of course, because like I said, or like I haven't said, if anyone on YouTube needs an education, it's me. So your girl, you know, being the blonde that she sometimes is <laughs> or isn't is natural born blonde but i don't have the hair to show it you know what i'm saying although that is a very outdated saying for lack of a better term um but yeah so anyways point being is that i then had like a moment where I was like, okay, I need to like pump the brakes and figure this all out. So I decided that, you know, I was going to, now that I was in the swing of things, knew where I went wrong, which was taking my grades way too seriously. Except I called my friend Raymond and we were talking and he's like, Veronica, like, I'm sorry, but this is like the Asian side of you coming out, feeling like you need to have the best grades and everything. He's like, you don't need to have the best grades and everything that you're doing. You're already a great cook. Now you're learning the knowledge and the theory behind things so you can become even better, so you can fully understand what you're doing. Because you have a good sense of things, that's why you're able to do th cooking and all these different things in culinary very well, but I'm just not even the theory behind it. If you're late on a, if you're late on an assignment, if you're late on a quiz, if you're not on time for something, if you lose a couple marks because you're late, because you have other things in your life that you have to do that are more important, do it because your life doesn't depend on whether your marks are at the highest. And I was like, holy shit, you're right. He was completely right. And he's just kept saying to me, he's like, he's Korean. He's a great guy, Raymond. He's like to me, um, yeah, it's your Asian side, dude. It's your Asian side that's telling you you need these high marks in school. You need to be the best in school. You need to be the best in school. He's like, he's like, you don't chill out. It's all good. You're in culinary. You're not becoming a freaking doctor. Although, imagine me as a doctor. Everyone would be dead. Because <laughs> I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed. So, anyways. God that we have brilliant doctors out there and pe brilliant people who decide to be doctors. Because if there was just a bunch of Veronica's deciding to be doctors, we'd be... Actually, I don't want to put myself down like that. If I really wanted to be a doctor, I probably could. Okay, we're just going to leave it at that. You know, we're putting our... We're building ourselves up, okay? We're not putting ourselves down. But yeah, anyways. So, I've learned a lot from this past semester, which is to not take my school as seriously as I was because I don't need to. My assignments don't need to be exactly on time. You know, my quizzes, I can sometimes miss a quiz. Not that big of a deal. Just find out what was on it. Or, you know, just get the teacher to send it to you anyways. Even if you miss it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, my marks don't need to be at the top of, oh my god. <laughs> this is a workout. I could squat with this thing. Okay, B, this is food. It's not a toy. So, anyway. Mary came to this, this revelation like a week and a half when school was ending. So I was like, you know what? But of course, I, I'm forgetting something. I couldn't have come to the revelation without getting super depressed and then missing a bunch of quizzes and letting my marks completely drop, right? Because I have like this difficult time of just making a switch smoothie. There's usually a huge 
catastrophe that has to happen in in the middle of this of everything smoothing out so i got really depressed shit sank i picked oh I got really depressed, shit sank, you know, I was able to get things back up. I finished, I finished my uh, second semester, my first term on a positive note with a lot learned. Mm -hmm. I'm craving noodles. I'm gonna change this backdrop. This has to change. I don't know what, but it has to change. Um. Yeah, anyways, I feel like I've learned a lot and coming second semester when I start, because I'm taking a term off. I'm going to be just... And actually, the reason why I decided to take a term off was because your girl wants to apply the knowledge that she's learned to to my life, basically. By the way, I'm working at a butcher shop. <laughs> That's also why I've been busy. I took a job at a butcher shop. I'm there once or twice a week. But yeah, so I decided I was gonna take a term off to apply the knowledge I've learned. Also because I found out that I, f I would finish school in December, not in May like I had originally thought, for whatever reason, didn't start in September. Don't know why I would have made that assumption. But yes, so I would finish in December. I planned to finish in May anyway. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take the term off to apply everything that I've learned so I don't lose it so that I really, really understand it since I've overestimated the amount of time I'd be in school anyways. And then I get back into school in January, finish the year off in April slash May, and then continue on my world life travels of culinary, cooking, recipes, ingredients. But yeah, so that's the plan. And I decided to do like more of an instant mukbang today because i'm working on a couple other two videos where i'm trying to apply uh some theory and some science into it i'm struggling a little bit because you know the wheels aren't turning exactly the way they should but you already know that so don't expect much from me anyways i'm going to try my best and that's what really matters and they're only go up from there so anyways guys i talked a lot on this mukbang but it was kind of like a catch-up um let me know down below if you'd like to see a apartment tour video slash mukbang i was thinking of doing that um my apologies for the lashes video i will do that soon i will post that soon i just recently did my lashes again by myself and i know i promised you guys that video but been busy with school as i just ranted on about but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this mukbang. I hope you enjoyed this little recipe. Do, do not <laughs> torch this shit. This was so pointless. It, made, it didn't even make it look nice. It made it look ugly. Torch, you know? Didn't, no. Okay, anyways. Yeah, so I feel good. I'm glad to be back. I'm gonna be posting on the second channel. I'm gonna start an ASMR channel. Give me a week and a bit. It's happening. You've seen this video, so you know shit's happening. But yeah, anyways, 
I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this mukbang. Sorry, it was a lot of talking. I will try to keep the talking to the minimal in future mukbangs. So I know you guys prefer more eating. Anyway. Anyways, I love you so much. Thank you for watching this video, and until next time. But yeah, I have everything figured out, so I'm glad to be back. I love you guys.